This time I have added a secret ingredient. Namaste, I am Manjula. Welcome to Manjula's Kitchen. Exotic Rice Pudding. Kheer is a traditional delicious dessert, often known also rice pudding, cooked with milk and sugar. This time I have added a secret ingredient. So this recipe will serve four. So let's get started. I am using the half cup cooked rice, so I will put this in a blender and half a cup of milk. This also goes in the blender and now blend it, not to make a paste, just enough that rice will start looking like a pulse. So just check one time if it is good. As you see, this rice has been blended, but I think I will blend a little bit more, still it has big pieces. And now if you see, they are looking like pearls. So now I am ready to make the pudding. Heat is on low. So first I will put about 2 tablespoons of water. Making sure the surface is all wet. It helps so milk will not get stick to the bottom. Now here I have the rice I blended. I am using 3 cups of milk. I have already used half a cup of milk to blend the rice. So I will add this 3 and a half cup of milk. 2 tablespoons of almond powder. My first secret ingredient was rice. People didn't understand why this looks like a pearl. And then second one is petha. This is made with ash pod and you can buy this in Indian grocery stores and they look like this. It's like a candy and I have sliced them in thin slices and this is about one, one and a half cup. So I will add this. And then just boil till this comes to boil milk has come to boil i have increased the heat but now i'm going to go back again to low medium and let it cook for about 15 minutes make sure occasionally you stir the milk and keep cleaning the sides so rice pudding is looking good it has been about 13 minutes and as you see closely this rice looks like a pearls and petha people just didn't think that you can make the kheer out of it so they were surprised. So here now I have three tablespoons of sugar and one fourth teaspoon of crushed cardamom. Mix it and cook again for about three minutes. This kheer is served chilled. So when it sits, it gets thicker. So even if right now you don't think it's thick enough, after cooling, it does become thick. It has been three minutes and rice pudding is looking really good. So I will turn off the heat and transfer it to serving bowl. I am ready to serve exotic rice pudding this always tastes better when it is chilled. So I'm going to just garnish it with some pistachios before serving. It gives the nice color and makes it more presentable. And just 
couple of threads of saffron. I am ready to serve exotic rice pudding. You will impress your friends and they will ask many questions. How did you make this delicious rice pudding? What is this? It's not rice because they look like pearls. And this fruit is also they don't use to make ghee. So this will be something very different. If you like the recipe, share it with your friends. If you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel, please do so and don't forget to click the bell icon to receive notification for new recipes. Till we meet again, check out more recipes on manjulaskitchen.com. Enjoy and thank you.